Hi, my name is Brandon Pouliot. I am a technical support specialist here at Laramie County Community College. Uh, we're going to take a look at Proctorio, which is LCCC's remote proctoring solution. So uh, there's an exam in a class that you need to take and it needs to be proctored uh, at the exam center. Uh, this is the remote solution that you can discuss with your instructor. Uh, now, up front, I will say that there is a fee associated with using Proctorio, uh, which is $10 per exam, or you can pay $20 for all of the exams within a single course. So if you've got five exams in a course, uh, paying the 20 bucks definitely makes sense. Uh, and the final option is a $100 one-time fee that covers all the exams during the course of your studies at LCCC. Now, I've logged into D2L over here, and uh, if I scroll down just a little bit to the student resources widget, there's the Proctorio Quick Start Guide. If I open this up, I get a little bit of a primer on Proctorio, what it is, the requirements, such as a webcam and a microphone. And then if I scroll down a little bit more, I'll see uh, how to get set up with Proctorio. So uh, the first step is to install Google Chrome. Uh, if you do not have Chrome, you can go to google.com slash chrome and download it for free. The next step once you've installed Chrome is to install the Proctorio extension here which there is a link for in the guide. So if I go ahead and just click that link we'll see it opens a window and tells me step one install Google Chrome is done. Wonderful. Uh, the next step is to install the Chrome extension. If I just click the little button that says click here uh, then I can click add extension and pretty soon in the top right up here, we'll see a little shield icon pop up. There we go. Uh, and it'll say Proctorio has been added to Chrome. Now I can just go ahead and close this window and go back into D2L. Uh, I'm going to go into my course where we will find my exam. Now how you get to your exam may be a little bit different course to course. It may be in your content. Uh, mine are gonna go through assessments. Uh, but you can tell which quizzes require Proctorio because they will say remotely proctored in parentheses next to them. Uh, now if I go ahead and click on the name of the quiz, uh, we'll see if I scroll down just a little bit, it'll say this exam will be monitored by Proctorio. I can click on the link to learn a little bit more uh, or I can click on start quiz. Uh, to show you what, how easy the troubleshooting is with Proctorio, I'm just going to click start quiz and we'll see what it says. And so we look here and we see the lockdown settings enabled for this exam require you to enable uh, incognito access. Uh, you may not know what that means, but if we just click here, uh, you can see here's Proctorio, it highlights it for us. We can click allow in incognito and close that window. Now when I head back to this page, uh, I may have to refresh, uh, which occasionally that'll happen. Uh, that's not a big deal. There we go. And now we can see this exam will be monitored by Proctorio. We can see my little shield icon is no longer yellow. Uh, if I click on it, you can see there is live chat and help and support, which is going to be the, uh, the knowledge base. Uh, you always have folks to help you here. Uh, so make sure that if you're having issues, go ahead and go to the live chat or the help and support center and see if you can get some help with Proctorio. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start quiz here and it's going to give me a little bit more information about Proctorio, talking about loss of network connectivity, clipboard will be disabled, not allowed to right click, not allowed to print. Uh, there are other restrictions that may be placed on here uh, and you can see what is going to be required up here. Now if I scroll down just a little bit you'll see I have something that says start pre-exam checks. Now uh, I do have a webcam. It may not like me at the moment. That's okay. We'll see how this works. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on start pre-exam checks. It knows my location. You may get a pop-up that asks for location. Uh, it is asking me to share my screen. So you can see I've got a few screens here. I'm going to share the one I'm actually using. So it knows I have a microphone that's connected. It knows I have a good connection. It can see my desktop. And now you can see my webcam over there. It gives you a little bit of information about uh, our exam, your exam is about to begin. Go ahead and get ready. Uh, and I'll go ahead and click Next. You can see it needs to analyze and capture an audio sample to verify that my microphone is working. Uh, it looks as though it is currently. I'll click Begin Microphone Test. I can say, Hello. 
it should record that, get any background noise in there. Uh, I may need to hold up an identification card, uh, which is perfectly fine for me to do. Uh, so let me go ahead and grab an ID here. Hold it up to the camera. It'll take just a little bit of time. We can do click here to scan manually. It's got all my information in there. There we go. If I like that, if everything's clear, I can say I'm satisfied with that. Put my ID away. Uh, and then it's going to ask me to make sure that my webcam is working correctly. I'm going to have to move some stuff here to make sure that this works. So uh, let me go ahead and move my desk. I will have a wire in the way, but that's all right. I can scroll down just a little bit, click on begin camera test. And now you can see $10 per exam, $20 per course, or $100 forever. Uh, I can go ahead and say we'll, we'll click the pay for $10 and uh, we'll see there are a couple of different ways to pay. You can pay by credit card uh, and they also accept Bitcoin. And so uh, these are the two different options that you have to pay. You can set up, put in your credit card number, uh, and then click Remember Me if you want your details to be remembered. It will be tied to your student account on D2L. Uh, now from there, we've gone through all the checks, uh, and we've gotten to the point where you pay. After you pay, you will begin your exam. Uh, if you do have questions, again, I highly recommend uh, the live chat and the help and support center up here. Uh, you can call the help desk as well. Uh, if you have questions, they will likely route you back to me, which is perfectly fine. We'll make sure that you get set up.